Okay guys, we got a combination of things here. We've got the netherrack, because I think netherrack actually looks really good in Sfax. And we've got the stone bricks and stuff. And I was just looking up the recipe for turtles, because I was trying to see if we could use the turtles to get some automated enchanting. It's going to be difficult without the brains in the jar. We'll have to do an, like a fully automated version first. And I, I know many of you people will have quite rightfully pointed out that uh, this is very similar to a Direwolf 20 design. And there's no doubt that I've been inspired by that. Just no doubt. Um, I wouldn't call it blatant copying, though, because I am trying to do something at least somewhat unique and different with the entire thing. So hopefully you guys don't get too like bored or whatever. But I don't think you will. Um, uh, what are we going to do now? We're going to try and work out and plan exactly where the blaze spawner itself is going to go. And we'll probably have to move that again off camera, don't worry. And we're going to build ourselves a nice little room and try and work out what sort of pattern we want for the floor and everything. Because the generators... Let's just work this out right now. So the generators are going to go on the floor. And the generators, I want to power something pretty cool that I will probably put just above them. Yeah. So if I put that just above them, uh, what do I want it to be above that? So the thing that I'm going to put above them is probably going to be probably nine blocks high. No. At a most, f six blocks high, actually, at a most. So generators, block or two of space, six blocks is eight, block two of space, probably, let's say, 11 or 12 blocks, just to be sure. We're going to want to put this thing on the roof. Yeah, we're going to want to put this on the roof. We're going to want to build it out of netherrack, I think. And we're just going to do a similar setup to what we had with the blazes beforehand. We're going to use the water to kill them slash funnel them to one area so that later we can adjust it to do the auto enchanting. So I will be back when I've moved some of this wool and when I've built the 9 by 9 area for the blazes. See ya! Just wanted to show you that the awesome efficiency 3 shears I had for the leaves also works on wool and then as a result doesn't take any durability so you'll see there which is amazing i thought it was a bug apparently it's a feature which is a weird feature i must admit uh but it's cool um i think actually you can sort of exploit it if you put it in silk touch on its shears using an anvil you could possibly i think i've seen this done before by doc m or something you could then use that as the to allow for the ability to have a silk touch set of pickaxe for ice that will never run out because if you shears on ice uh, I don't think they take durability as well, which is really awesome. Um, and it's nice to have a constant support supply of ice in vanilla. It's not too important for us because ice is usually used for item transport in vanilla. And as far as item transport goes, we're pretty we're pretty set, really. <laughs> We've got mods that do all that shit for us. So, you know, we're not too bad. Um, I'm going to just actually go a little bit higher. Oh, what's my phone doing? Who's messaging me? Probably Facebook or something. Yeah, I've got another invite to some crappy thing I don't want to go to. Ah, Facebook invites. So I'll be right back whenever I move this and we've got a bit more of a building going on. And since we've just got so much black wool from harvesting that, I am going to redouble it and use it as the floor, which will probably, you know, modify to some extent with some sort of cool pattern. But for right now, we'll just do this. And also, the efficiency is definitely having an effect on the dirt, which is so interesting because shears sh shouldn't have an effect on dirt whatsoever and uh, there's no um, durability for it. Uh, it's not as fast as an efficiency 3 spade, obviously, but it's better than using my hands. Look. Definitely. Almost like a shovel, in fact. So yeah, there's a little tip for you. Ooh, copper. Okay, guys, so it's raining. Uh, this creeper is trying to stalk on me. Will he get up? Yeah, it looks like he will, but well, he's a bit of a noob. All right, let's take him out. Oh, forgot I wasn't in hover mode. Well, let's just fly away. Right, so I've done a bit of work on this. It's not completely finished, but ooh, okay, right. Let's take the actual way across. Uh, hopefully, we won't do too much damage this way around. This keeps disappearing uh, visually, but I know it's here somewhere. Or at least it was here somewhere. Yep, there it is. <laughs> okay. Turns out it's not quite far enough if I don't have the jetpack. Oh well. Um, great start to this recap. <laughs> okay, so we've got our jetpack. Jetpack. Get a jetpack. Got a jetpack about third full. Which should help us. 
Oh, excuse me. This this thing seems to have at least appeared back. And I'll go and show you guys this. Oh, how come I made it that time? Well, that's a bummer. Anyway. Right, so I've just done a bit of work on this. This is going to be the 9x9 cube into which I place the place spawner. So, you know, typical me. I forgot it already. Uh, just really simple. Oh, I think I've got some more of these. Yeah, I do. So I'll just show you more or less what I was doing here. Uh, just to... Um, Maybe just add a little bit of texture. I was just, you know, doing it like this so we can see in. Got a viewpoint so that when you're down here, you know what? Let's get rid of one of these glass blocks because that's annoying me. Um, oh, t turn two. Come on. Go to hover mode. Oh, God, that's really buggy. I don't know why it doesn't go to hover mode all the time. Anyway, uh, we, so we can see in, which is pretty cool. I'll probably have the water flowing from these two corners, putting it this way because we have a bit of room back here to do a little bit of the automatic stuff. The automatic. Um, Come on, there we go, finally. To do a little bit of the automatic uh, enchanting stuff with the turtles and whatnot. I'm gonna try and write my own program. Don't know how well that's gonna go. I know that Dyro20 has a program already written should, you know, I end up just, you know, failing on all fronts. Uh, so I can always have a backup, but I, I would like to learn how to program. I'll probably do that off camera because I know you guys aren't, you know, I mean, it's not fun to just, I, I don't enjoy watching other people just sit and code so why would you guys enjoy that i guess so you know you know how it is i'll probably do it that way uh, but i thought it was only fair to kind of just show you this progress it's a bit dark here isn't it um great have i brought a pickaxe with me i do need to get a drill on the go i keep using these steel pickaxes and stuff which i'm sure are, that i keep finding and things so i'm sure they have uses other than just you know a simple straight up pickaxe but i don't know what they are so i am just going to do use them as pickaxes for the moment. So we're just placing this block. So I'll try and show you a bit more of the design. Come on. Oh, am I on the block? I am still. Awesome. So there we go. That's more or less that done. Let's get rid of these. Awesome. So use my handsaw to good effect. That's where the portal will sit. Not where the portal should be. Not the portal the spawner. That's where the spawner will sit, not where the spawner should be. And we'll get... I don't know what we'll use, maybe some sort of cover or maybe a wireless thing. I don't know, we'll, we'll work out a way to turn it off and on, even if it's just a lever for now. The water in these two corners, we'll push it down here. I'll just use the water to kill them for the moment, but knowing that I can remove these and put in some turtles to get the XP. But at the moment, I'm probably just going to focus on the blaze, ro blaze rod production line and get lots of generators down below to get lots of... IC2 power. I know it's not the most efficient way, but I kind of like that. I kind of like that I'm building something that has a progression element to it. I can get better later because I don't want to. This is a, this is essentially an infinite source of quite a high tier, um, you know, food supply. So let's go down here, and I will show you this sort of basic premise. There's going to be one entrance and one exit here. So I don't know whether I'll have a staircase or something cool. I was thinking maybe using rubber as a floor to land on so I could just jump down. But anyway, this is the way back. Um, these are all the generators are going to be. The enchanted system is probably going to be back here. And when it comes to storing the enchanted books, I'm probably going to try and do that here in barrels. But we don't know. I don't know for sure. I'm thinking maybe something along the lines of a phew, uh, I think you can pump the blaze rods into the back of the generators but that's something I'm gonna have to test in creative mode but I'm thinking like a wall like maybe you know like three three or four high all this wide of just pure generators with the with a floor of um, or at least like two or th like a th three by three square of those um, what are they called MF MFEs maybe MFSUs I don't know how much power will generate so you can come over charge stuff and and maybe you know hook up a couple of simple machines on the floor here and have the enchanted tools here on in these walls make a feature and maybe reset them a little bit but yeah we're not gonna have this open to the yellow the yellow can essentially just be considered a frame we've got a lot of work to do on it but we've you know we've got we've got a lot of progress we've got a lot of stone stone brick and stuff that we've cut down quite a bit been smelting a lot of my cobble to get the stone, smooth stone and what we're gonna do now is we're going to well what are we gonna do now gonna go get our our um, whatchamacallit and set it up so that we can at least the uh, we're gonna get the spawner and the uh, and the sh and the soul shard to at least start processing 
the actual blaze rods. So I'm going to keep running some commentary, but I don't know if it sucks. I'll probably just cut it out. So we're going to need the transposer. We're going to need these. We're going to want to get some better jacketed wire. So what will we use? Maybe we can use some of that basalt brick that I that I that I crafted. Hmm. We've only got one block left of that though. Let's whack that in there for the time being. Maybe, maybe the stone bricks. Yeah, you got plenty of stone bricks. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, stone bricks. Okay, so I think we need the red alloy for that, don't we? So I wonder if that's going to be enough. Might not be. So let's get ourselves some more by just, you know, whacking this down here for the time being. Uh, let's get a stack of coal. Never really hurts. I'm going to have a lot more coal once I get a good mining setup going. So how do I do this again? Uh, R. Four redstone, one iron. Okay, let's get a whole stack of this stuff. So one stack of that. And where's my redstone? One, two, three, four. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome socks. Oh, no, not that. One, two, three, four. Iron. Oh, uh, yeah. Getting some red alley ingots. So I'm just going to grab the first piece that comes out here. I think we get like three per craft, don't we, or something? No, we don't. And we're going to use the saw and we're going to check what was the recipe for. Where did I put it? I think it's in the red power chest, isn't it? Oh, did I have some in there? No, I didn't. Um, let's check the recipe for this again. It's the covers around the alloy winget. So let's get the uh, some stone brick covers on the go. You know what would be nice, actually? Nah, no, let's just use the stone brick, not not mossy. Yeah, you can make mossy using the minium stone just by doing it, which is pretty cool. Uh, so we've got three pieces of alloy ingot. So let's see how much this will get us. I think it'll get us more than, you know, like one piece each, doesn't it? Does that not work? Can we not get stone? Did I do something horribly wrong? It is the it is the covers, isn't it? Stone brick jacketed cover, stone brick cover, red alloy ingot. Stone brick panel, moron. Didn't realise they were thinner. My mistake. Silly, silly, silly me again. These are the differences between uh, my videos and somebody like Terry Wolf 20s. His are just simply quicker because he makes less mistakes. <laughs> Let's get a few more of these. Actually, 12 should be enough, but we've probably got a few more of these. So let's get, what, two more? Okay, I can only take them out. But let's get two more because we can. Cover, is that the thickest, thinnest one? I think it is. Come on, here we go. Simple, awesome. And once we're at it, let's just turn these back into something manageable. Because it's easier. I know it kind of theoretically wastes craft. Triple cover, how the hell did I make that? By um, I don't want to make, screw that, ignoring that. There we go. And we can make seven more of these blocks. Awesome. So we're going. We've got our jacketed wire. We're gonna grab a little bit of the cable. I think that's in our red wire chest. Yes, we're gonna grab a lever again in here. Just making this really simple. We're gonna run that down the back. Lever, wire, pneumatic tubes, transposers. And the actual, where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it, the actual, this, and where's my cage gone? There. Tier 5 blaze, that, so let me just think, yeah, we've got that going on. I think that's all we need, we need water buckets, okay, toolbox, yeah, I got some water buckets, okay, okily dokily. This should be easy to set up, and I will speed up the actual, uh, setting up of it so that oh god creeper go go okay what am i lagging out or something <laughs> yeah i was hello zombie and uh whoa 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 what's going on okay i seem to be stable now let's get rid of this enderman griefing okay okie dokie interesting well 
we're, we're here now. <laughs> Let's get some torches up here. Let's make sure nothing can spawn. Press to have seven there. Nothing seems to be able to spawn. I uh, can't place torches on this, so I think we're okay, actually. We can probably just wash this away. Uh, let's leave the water till the end, because that's always a pain in the backside. Let's get this out, and this out. Okay, so, actually, we'll put the uh, this away. We don't want to put that in yet. That's our last step, I think. That's what I, or at least I'm going to make it the last step. Let's get rid of these torches, too. We don't need these torches. We don't need these torches. Okie dokie, so we're going to have the transposer... Oh my god, I've done this wrong, haven't I? I've done this a stupid way. The water's gonna... Right. Okay, gonna gonna just set this up my own way here, and then we'll, we'll, we'll fix it. 